here I have shown on my screen the directions of my noise margin correct let's quickly understand this so this is my VIH this is my VIL this is the input scale this is the output scale where this is V out and this is VOH I'll, I'll make you understand this so when my input is in this range it will be interpreted as a logic 0 when my input is in this range it will be interpreted as logic 1 so this is nothing but max this is nothing but min if the input I beg your pardon, the output is here, it will be interpreted as logic 1, but it has still some scope above. So this is again min. If the output is here, it will be interpreted as logic 0, but it has still scope to go down. So this is max. And noise margin low and noise margin high can be easily obtained from this curve. So noise margin high is nothing but this difference. VOH minus VIH and NML is nothing but VIL minus VOL. Now let's quickly understand whether noise margin should be high or low. Technically, if you have understood everything by now, you know that here, if my input is in this range, if this is a maximum interpreted as 0 and this is a minimum interpreted as 1, what will my value be interpreted if it's in this range? It's an indeterminate zone. So if you have a larger indeterminate zone, your circuit does not know what to interpret as, a, as the input to it and you will get a corrupted output. So technically, you want your indeterminate zone to be as small as possible, which means that either VIL should be very high or VIH should be very low. From the curve again, that means that VIH, VIL can be somewhere above or VIH should be something down. Technically, they should be very close to each other with a very small indeterminate zone. If that's the case, VIL is very high and VIH is low, you will have NML to be a higher value and NMH to be a higher value as well. Let's see if that makes sense in a few, few seconds. So this is about VIL and VIH. Let's quickly see about VOL and VOH as well. VOL, technically you want the value output low to be equal to zero and VOH, you technically want your output to be equal to VDD. If your VOH is equal to VDD, that means your output has a complete voltage swing. And if your VL is zero, that also means your output has a value which is a perfect value. Technically VOH can be lesser than VDD, correct? So technically it is less and VOL is more than zero. But what do you want is, technically you want your VOH to be VDD and your VOL to be closer to zero. So this also will show that, this red arrows will show that, this will also give me a higher NML and a higher NMH. So technically you want your noise margin to be high that means suppose if this is an inverter driving another inverter and it's corrupted by noise and if this was say a 1 a 0 and the input here was 0 technically if you had VIL value as 0.6 correct and your VIL value as 0.9 a higher value of VIL will allow you 0.3 volt of noise also to be tolerated because it can be corrupted still till 0.9 it will be valued as a value 0 that what it means when VIL is high similarly we can explain it for VIH also so higher the value of VIL lower the value of VIH higher the value of VIL you can have more room to interpret your logic your input to be logic 0 lower the value of VIH you have more room to interpret your logic value as logic 1 so technically your indeterminate zone becomes smaller at the same time you give a lot of headroom to accommodate your noise such that your output still does not get corrupted so in summary what we learned in this clip is noise margin is an ability or a parameter which allows you to determine the maximum noise voltage of the input of the gate so the output will not be corrupted we also saw the definitions of VIL, VOL, VIH and VI and the fourth one. Along with that we saw an example and finally we went ahead and saw that to avoid the indeterminate zone we need to have a higher value of VIL or a lower value of VIH and similarly we saw for VOL and VOH as well and all that led to the proof what we wanted that the noise margin should be higher means NML and NMH should take a higher value means that my circuit should have the ability to ignore the noise and still produce a correct output. This is all about noise margin and noise immunity. In further clips, we'll be studying this concept 
for inverters with different loads. Hope you have followed. Stay tuned and thank you very much.